Hi guys, this is Himansu from the CMS guys. Today I will teach you how to create a complete service website from beginning to end with an attractive design using absolutely free tools and theme in WordPress using Elementor. Our service website will be mobile responsive as well which means it is fully optimized for the mobile. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and show us your love and support by liking the video. Do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get notification of a new video every week. Also mention in the comment section which website you would like to learn create in WordPress using Elementor in the next video. Now let me show you the demo of the service website that we are going to build today. Then I will show you how to create that service website in WordPress using Elementor. So here you can see that this is the home page of our service website and at first we have our transparent header over here uh, it is divided into three columns here you can see that we have our logo and then we have link to different pages then we have this search icon over here with this breadcrumb whenever we are clicking on this breadcrumb here you can see that we are getting another sidebar having company logo again have a uh, some description text then we have number email and then different social media handles over here now let's start with the first section of our home page so here you can see that this is the first section of our home page uh, we are having a title heading and then description text with this register now button and this is a carousel of uh, this images now moving to the next section again we have a title and heading and then we have these image boxes and each image boxes have the image and then we have a title description and a button and we have also a tag of different uh, tags like star sport lifestyle wellness and whenever we are hovering over each image we are getting some effects on it now moving to the next section again we have a countdown timer on the left side and then we have a video button with these uh, images of the small small images of the speaker and on the right side we have a title the heading and then we have some paragraph text with two column and a button now moving to the next this is the our team section where again we have a title heading and then on the right side we have this all team button and uh, here you can see that we have different team members images and with their uh, name and then their position and whenever we are hovering over it uh, we are getting this description and their social media link of the team member now moving to the next this is the testimonial section where we are having a carousel of testimonial and each testimonial is having a image then client name designation and testimonial description now moving to the next section here you can see that we have a background image over here and then we have a title heading and then this uh, button over here now moving to the next section again we have a title heading and uh, different logos and when we are hovering over any of the logo uh, logo is from uh, black and white logo is becoming colorful and on the right side we have some uh, title paragraph text and a button now moving to the next section here you can see that we have some images of the events and when we are hovering over it we are getting this see more button on each of this event image now moving to the next section this is the app link where uh, on the right side we have uh, the image of the app and on the left side we have a title heading and to download on app store and download on play store buttons over here now uh, here this is the footer top where we have our subscribe to newsletter section where we have a heading and on the right side we have this email input now uh, here you can see that this is the footer it is divided into four columns and at the first column we have the company logo then address email phone number then we have this company quick link and useful link section where we have uh, given some dummy links over here then we have our copyrights and then link to different uh, pages here you can see the privacy policy terms of use and at the middle you can see that we have these social media links now let's quickly move to the other pages also so here about partners let's quickly and one more thing if you will notice whenever we are opening any of this we are getting this pop-up also 
so uh, about partners schedule pricing and contact so these are the pages so let's start with the about page so here in this about page again you can see that we are having a background image to it with this breadcrumb over here with the page title then we have some description text then here you can see that we have some image uh, listed over here with different years moving to the next section again we have a title heading and paragraph text uh, with a button on the left and on the right side we have two images now in the next section again you can see that these are the icon box section where uh, each box is having a icon de description and a title moving to the next section the, uh, this is the timeline section where each timeline is having the uh, date and then we have having a tag over here with uh, title description and then icon list with uh, this counter value number of members and on the right side here you can see that again we have an image with this video button then we have a title heading description text and carousel of images moving to the next this is the our team section that we have already covered in the home page then we have the, this counter value this is divided into three columns and each column is having a icon counter value then we have a counter title and uh, moving to the next section here again we can see that uh, this is a section where we have uh, like uh, on the right side we have these icon boxes and on the left side title heading description and a button now moving to the next section again we have a title and then these are the four icon boxes then we have our uh, footer top and footer moving to the next page uh, this is the partner page and uh, here again we have a page title breadcrumb over here and then in this section on the left side we have a type description text and then we have button on the right side we have this counter value and each counter value is having a uh, counter number and then uh, title uh, having another title two titles were over there moving to the next section again you can see that this is a background image is there with uh, having a video button moving to the next here you can see that we are having a title heading and then we have some description text with to get started and more detail button then we have this carousel of images over here now moving to the next session this is the our partner section where we have having different logos of the partner in the next section here you can see that uh, this is uh, the win uh, partner of the month section where we have a title heading and then we have it is divided into uh, three columns so this is the winner section here you can see that first winner and second winner is mentioned over here and in the third column we have this image title description and button and in this uh, winner section where we have having a badging of first winner second winner then we have the logo then we have title description and these are the three icon box and then we have our button over here at last here you can see that we have our footer top and footer moving to the next page this is the schedule page and here in the schedule page also we are having uh, the page title over here then we have the schedule uh, having title description heading and then these are the entire timetable which is in the table structure here you can see that we are uh, the timing is mentioned with uh, what which program will be held on which timing and then we have our footer top and footer now let's go to the pricing page and here in this pricing page again you can see that we are having a page title over here then uh, here we have three pricing plans so here it is divided into three parts and here you can see that this pricing plan is completely sticky and here you can uh, in each of this uh, column you can see that uh, what are the facilities available discount per event coffee break will be given or not here so you can uh, find this tick and cross icons over here to uh, distinguish which uh, which is available in which plan then moving to the next here on the left side we have a image and on the right side we have some icon boxes over here then at last we have our footer top and footer now let's move to the next page which is this contact page and here in the contact page again we have a page title over here then uh, here in this section on the left side we have a image and on the right side we have a title heading description and then we have this form option over here with this send message then we have these icon boxes at last we have our footer top and footer 
as i already told you that this service website is completely mobile responsive so let me show you the mobile view of this site so for that uh, here you can see that now we are in the mobile view and uh, this website is completely optimized for mobile view and uh, this website is mobile friendly as well now that you have seen what our target website will look like so let's dive into creating it guys do watch the complete video so that you don't miss any important points please ask any queries you have in the comment section below and leave a thumbs up if you like the video do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified about the new video every week also let us know which website you would like to learn next let's start creating our website so at first we need a domain and hosting to set up the website so for that we need to go to this dcmsguys.com slash namechip so uh, we are on the namechip hosting page and i have been using this namechip for three years now and not faced any issue till date all my websites which we have created for uh, our tutorial purpose or anything everything every websites all my websites are uh, hosting on this namechip only i recommend you to use this same as it is very easy to use and configure and also cheaper than other providers uh, you can check other providers price and you will definitely uh, see that uh, this namechip uh, hosting provider is very much cheap there are three plans here you can see that i personally use this teller business plan as it suits my requirements but if you are starting out i recommend you to use uh, with the uh, use you can purchase this teller plus plan it is more than enough for most use cases it comes with an unmetered ssd auto backup and unlimited websites auto backup saves you from unnecessary hassles and unlimited websites are also a great offering it also gives you a ssl protection which makes sure your, your website doesn't so up as potential threat to any user and also gives you a domain name for free there are some more benefits like unlimited bandwidth privacy protection etc that you get with all namechip hosting so uh, you can uh, if you will purchase any of this hosting you will get that uh, privacy protection and all so here you can see that uh, you have an option of selecting a data center so you must select uh, your uh, data center near your country and here on this top right corner here you can see that all the price are in dollar if you want to change the currency here you can uh, select this uh, usd and uh, here you can change it so let me change it to indian rupee as i am from india then uh, let's uh, select the stellar plus plan now it takes you to select uh, let me click on this get started after that uh, when you will select this teller plus plan now here you can see that it is asking you about the domain name this is a free domain name you will get so enter any domain name you wish to purchase in this box below and then select the domain name and click to connect to hosting so here uh, of if you have an existing domain name then also you can uh, click on this existing domain name so after that uh, here uh, if you will type a domain name let me uh, type a demo domain name uh, let me do one thing i will do uh, this cms guys so here you can see that all these domain names are of free of cost this and after that uh, when uh, here you have to click this connect to hosting after clicking on this connect to hosting here you can and then click on this add to cart So uh, here you can see that uh, when we have done this add to cart option, uh, here we have this domain uh, one year subscription, the price become a zero. And then domain register, domain privacy, we are getting one year subscription and domain registration. If you want to increase, then also you can increase your domain registration. Uh, and if you uh, want, you can enable the um, this auto renew feature and now uh, let us confirm our order after verifying the domain uh, you can click on this confirm order to confirm this and uh, when you will click on this confirm order so now on the next page here you can see that it is asking you about uh, this uh, uh, you, uh, login credential if you have if you don't have any account then you can create an account and if you have any uh, if you have account then you can log in it from here 
so i already have an account so i will use that here so let's sign in now so let me enter my username and password after entering the username and password let me click on this sign in and continue and then uh, here you can see that uh, it is asking about uh, this uh, payment method so here you can use any of this payment method here we have you have you can use this card details or if you want to uh, use this paypal or anything so you can choose any of this payment method you like and you can continue confirm your order once more uh, you have to click on this uh, continue and then after that uh, you have to click on this uh, pay now to confirm the order once the payment is completed you will be redirected to the dashboard so let me show you the dashboard so you will be redirected to this dashboard and where you can manage your domain and hosting from here so here and as we have got the hosting and domain so our next step is to set up the wordpress so from this uh, dashboard you can click on this uh, here you can see when you will hover over this uh, you can get this go to c panel so from here uh, you can uh, it will be redirected you to the c panel after then uh, click on uh, we have to install the wordpress so first uh, now uh, to install wordpress we have to scroll down to bottom and uh, or you can also getting this search option here you can search for wordpress and then here you can see that wordpress manager by softaculous we have to use this one you can click on this and uh, here uh, you have to choose the domain name where you have to where you want to install so for that uh, let me first uh, first of all uh, let me install the uh, wordpress on my domain name so for it what i will do uh, we have to fill in the uh, in wordpress details and all first of all click on this install and then here we have to search for so here you can see that this is my domain name where i want to install so here i have selected this uh, the cms guys dot in and then uh, here we have to fill our site name and then site description so site name is basically our site title so here i will give it the name the cms let me give it cms guys after that uh, here uh, in this description i will be give our uh, company uh, tagline which is spreading the knowledge so let me give it then we have to choose the username and password uh, so uh, then uh, then we have to choose this uh, so let me give it a username so here i will give it this ms guys and you can use random password or you can uh, give any password also or you can uh, use any of this password or you can also use random password generator to generate uh, passwords for you after that uh, here we have to fill this uh, admin email address so here i will going to uh, pay uh, give my my email address so let me give it and then uh, here uh, you can skip the theme installation uh, here you can no need to select uh, we will select our own theme and uh, finally here we have to uh, click on this install button so our wordpress you can find that uh, within a few minutes our wordpress installed uh, successfully so let's wait for it then we will get one message for uh, our wordpress and so here you can see that congratulations message is here and then the here you can see that the software was installed successfully so now we can uh, we will start creating and customizing our website for that we need to go to the dashboard so here you can see this the administrative url is uh, basically the dashboard uh, url for the wordpress so you can uh, let me open the, our uh, website first so here you can see that this is uh, the CMS guys dot in where we have installed the WordPress and this is how it's uh, going to look like because it is the default theme is activated now. So uh, if you want to go to this uh, dashboards and then you have to just uh, here after your website name you have to uh, put a slash and then WP hyphen admin and then here uh, you will be uh, redirect to your uh, dashboard login panel and here also you can find this administrative URL the same url it will be also redirect to you to the dashboard of this uh, here uh, dashboard of the wordpress so here you can see that 
after that uh, we will uh, we have to enter this uh, username and password uh, with for which uh, so here you have to enter your username and password and then uh, entering this uh, you will be see this uh, dashboard so let me show you again so here you can see that this is how the wordpress dashboard is going to look like so you can customize all of this and you can see all of these settings over here on the left side like post media pages so these are basically the options over here where you can control the entire settings of your website from the wordpress dashboard only so before moving further of creation of our website we need to do some basic setup and i am going to give you a basic overview of what are all these options available in this wordpress dashboard so let's start with the post section so here in this post section you can see that we have a hello world post over here with this uh, but we don't don't need this hello world post so what i'm going to do now here you are getting a trash option just click on that trash and it will delete as you can see that it is moved to the trash then you can go to this trash and you can click on this empty trash button to delete it for permanently so now what does this post section does suppose if you have a blogging site or if you are having a blogging section in your website then you can create all your blog post using this post section here you can see that we are getting this categories and tags option where you can create different categories and different tags for your site as you can see like if you ha have some different categories like if you have post sports category then you can create sports category blog post then you can give different tags to those posts moving to the next section here you can see that we have this media option over here so in this media option as you can see that currently we don't have any media over here but when i will uh, click on it you can see that images audio video all these media types will be present over here in our demo website as you can see like we have all these images that we have used over here everything will be present in this media section only so whatever audio video or any of the uh, media files like document spreadsheet everything will be present in this media section of this wordpress dashboard moving to the next where we have this pages section and here in this pages section you will find like we have these two pages privacy policy and sample page and we don't need these pages so now now uh, we have to delete these pages so how we can do that so here you have you are getting this select all options so just select all the pages and under bulk action you will get this move to trash option just select that move to trash and click on this apply button to move all those pages to the trash as you can see that now the two pages move to the trash now what we have to do we have to again go to this trash section over here and in this trash section you will get this empty trash button so just click on that empty trash and the two pages will be deleted for permanently so now you can see that uh, we don't have any pages over here so what does this pages section do so from this pages option you can create different pages like here you can see that in our demo website we have different pages over here like about partner schedule so you can create these different pages using this pages option moving to the next we have this comment option so if you have a blogging or section and if you are writing blogs then you must get uh, you can enable the comment option and you will get all the comments here in this comments option and you can control all the comments on your blog post like what are the pending comments or what are the approved comments or what are if you want to move them to spam or if you want to delete those comments then you are getting several tabs over here you can easily filter out those comments from here moving to the next we have this appearance option and from here you can see that we are getting three pre installed theme in this appearance and uh, here we uh, we have currently activated this 2022 theme so now let me open this site and show you how it looks like so here you can see that this is how it's going to look so now uh, you if you will activate it so suppose let me activate this 2020 one theme and now i will refresh the page and here you can see that the entire design of the website is changed so uh, now what does this theme means in wordpress site so a theme is basically a collection of files that from using those files uh, it entirely describe the design of our website so here we can use any of the theme over here but uh, we are not going to use uh, any of the theme so i must recommend you to use only a single theme in your wordpress site 
and uh, here currently you can see that we have three themes over here so now let me show you how you can delete a theme over here to delete a theme whenever you will hover over this you are getting this theme details option so just click on that theme details and on the right side corner you will get this delete option so just click on that delete and you will get a pop up like this uh, are you sure you want to delete this so just click on this ok to confirm the delete in the same way we are going to delete this 2020 theme also so just click on this theme details then click on this delete and ok to confirm the delete so now you can see that we have only a single theme over here which is this 2021 now let's move to the next we, what we have we have this plugin option so we are not going to use this 2021 theme also so later on we will uh, activate the theme that we are going to use so now let's move to the plugins option so here in this plugin option uh, as i am i am using this local host that's why i am getting these two plugins over here but you might get more number of plugins over here with uh, like what are other plugins so first what you have to do you have to delete those plugins uh, before deleting them uh, you have to check whether those plugins were activate or not so if you want to delete all the plugins in a single click then first you have to deactivate all the plugins as you can see that now both the plugins were deactivated but how you can deactivate you have to just select the plugins that were activated and under bulk action you will get this deactivate option then just click on apply and it will deactivate it once you will deactivate your plugins then you can select all the plugins and under bulk action you can choose this delete option and click on this apply button then again you will get this pop up like are you sure you want to delete these plugins so you have to click on this ok button to delete all the plugins in a single click so now what does these plugins do these plugins add extra features to our website like the page builder that we are going to use or for contact form we have different plugins over here so we can use different different plugins to add extra features to our website so now let's move to the users option and let's see what we have in the user section so here you can control your users like if you want to give access to your website suppose if your website is managed by more than one person then you can create multiple access for them and uh, they can easily able to log in through the wordpress dashboard and they can do their work and as an administrator you can have a track of who whatever who has changes what thing like suppose if you have given someone to write blog post then who has written which blog post from the wordpress user section you can easily able to identify which user has created that blog post or anything so here if you will see these are the role type which you can create it create like contributor author editor or administrator so you can also create an administrator role also now let me show you how you can create a user in wordpress dashboard to create a user again you have to click on this add new button and uh, here you can see that in this add new this username and this email these two are only required field and rest like first name last name these are not mandatory over here so you have to give any of this username email then uh, here coming to this password option you can is either click on this generate password button and it will automatically generate a random password over here or you can write any of the password but if you will write any of the easy password then you will get this confirmation like you have to confirm of using a weaker password over here then uh, here we have this send user notification so if you will tick mark on this then that user will going to uh, get a notification of this account creation in this wordpress dashboard then uh, we have this role option over here where you can select any of the role which role you want to assign as a contributor author or editor or administrator what type of role you want to assign to that user and then finally you have to click on this add new user button and that user account will be created now let's move to the second settings option so here in this setting you can see that in the general setting we have this site title and then we have this tagline option so from this tagline you can change the tagline of your website as you can see that in this tab it is coming over here service 35 just another wordpress site so you can change all this look suppose i want to give it a tagline over here by the cms guys 
and you can easily able to uh, just click on this save changes now when you will refresh the page you will see that service 35 by the cms guys so you can easily able to change the site title and tagline then we have this administration email address so you can create any of this administration email address over here and make sure you have given a correct administration email address suppose if you will forgot any of the your wordpress credential then you can easily able to uh, re like reset your administration account from this uh, administration email address after that we have this membership option as we are not going to create any membership site so no need to tick mark on this and you can select what are the default role for the membership most of the time the default role for the membership site will be this subscriber only then coming to the next what we have we have this site language over here where you can select what site language you want to give as you can see that here we have different language over here and you can select any of this language from here then we have this time zone option where you can set the time zone for your wordpress site then here you can see we have a date and time format where you can give a custom date and time format also with the help of this documentation link here you can find you can easily able to this open this documentation and you can create your own date and time format now let's click on save changes and now let's move to the last uh, permalink setting so here in this permalink setting you can see that this is the main setting over here where you have to select this post name uh, rather than uh, you must be like whenever you will first open this uh, permalink setting your uh, option will be either day and name or custom structure any of other op option must be selected so what you have to do you have to choose this post name and then click on save changes now let's go back to our home of the dashboard and we are done with the basic setup and i have also given you a basic overview of what are the options available here in this wordpress dashboard so now uh, what we have to do now as you can see that here in this home also if you don't want to see all this like site health status or quick draft so how you can make clean of this like if you want to make completely blank your wordpress home dashboard how you can do that so here on the right side you are getting this screen option so just click on that and here you can uncheck all of these things and uh, you will find like uh, all of those things were gone and uh, we have completely blank home of the dashboard all right so now we have uh, done all the basic setup now let's move towards the installation of theme and installation of plugins that are required to create our wordpress site so first of all again uh, what I am going to do now, let's go to this, hover over this appearance and click on theme. So now we are going to install the theme that is required. To install the theme, again, you are going to get this add new button. So just click on that add new. And once you will click on this add new button, so you are here, you can also easily see that we have this 4798 popular themes over here. And if you will go to this latest tab, then you must be see like here 9478 latest theme we have so uh, you can choose any of this latest or popular theme so either you are getting this search option also you can search the theme so we are using the theme that is also in popular option so let me show you here you can see that this is the hello elementor theme that we are going to use so either you can search over here if you will type over here hello only it will come also here you can see that i have typed over here hello then i let me type you over here hello elementor and uh, you you will get this hello elementor theme or you can go to this popular option and you will find this hello elementor so now just click on this install button and here you can see that it is getting uh, installed once it will install then uh, we will activate this theme from here and we have to delete the other theme now you can see that uh, we are getting this activate button so just click on that activate button and once it will activate uh, now let's delete this 2021 theme earlier we have already deleted so again click on this theme details then click on this delete and ok to confirm the delete so now we have only a single theme over here next what we have to do we have to install the plugins that is required so now let's install the plugins over here so now let's start installing the plugin so here you can see that you are getting this add new button so just click on this add new and uh, here we can search for the plugins and we can install it over here so we are going to use only our elementor page builder so let me show you over here elementor and 
once you will search over here for elementor uh, you will get this elementor website builder so just click on this install now and elementor website builder will get installed so now uh, once it will get installed then one more plugin that we need to install over here so let's wait for it uh, once it will get in, uh, installed then we are going to install another plugin over here so now i just want to search for excel tab and once you will search for this excel tab uh, then you are going to uh, get a list of plugins over here like excel tab accordance and tab for elementor page builder by asrab so this is what we want so just click on this install now and we want to install this uh, plugin over here so now currently we have installed two plugin and we need to install one more plugin so here in a new tab uh, if you will search for elementor.com slash pro so we are going to use this elementor pro plugin over here and uh, you can also give a try to this elementor pro plugin and you will get this link in the description where you can easily able to redirect to this page and you can easily able to uh, purchase this any of this uh, activation license so first of all initially i must also suggest you to start with this essential plan where you will get a one uh, one website activation using this 49 dollar per year so you can go through this so i have already purchased this elementor pro plugin so what i am going to do now let's move to this install plugin and uh, here in this install plugin you are going to get this uh, add new option so let's again click on this add new and uh, from this add new you are going to get one upload plugin option here on the top so just click on this upload plugin and then uh, here you can choose a file so let me choose a elementor file that we are going to use so i have already purchased it so i have to only click on this choose file and you have to select the file then click on this install now button to install the elementor pro plugin as you can see that it is installing the elementor pro plugin then i will go to this install plugin section and i am going to activate all the plugins in a single click so just select the plugins and under bulk action you will find this activate button and now click on this apply button and you are done with installing all the plugins in a single click so now let's wait till all these plugins will installed in a single click so here you can see that all the plugins were installed now uh, let's move towards the creation of pages so let me close all these tabs over here now as you can see that uh, this is the first home page over here so now first of all we need to create a home page for our site so what i am going to do now i will go to this pages option and here i will click on this add new and i will uh, create a home page for it so now uh, let's uh, give it a title over here with home and then let's first publish the page and let's see what we are getting here so uh, here i have opened this on a new tab and as you can see that we are getting this page title then here we are getting site title and tagline also and here also we are getting the site titles and this all rights reserves also so now we need a completely blank page so how we can do that so here in this edit page only you have you are getting this template option on this right side bar so just select this elementor canvas and update your page once you will uh, select this elementor canvas and update now when you will refresh the page so here you can see that you are getting a completely blank page so now uh, when you will see uh, let me open our site so localhost class service 35 is our main site and here when i am opening a home page here slash home is coming so we need to set our main site as home page because when we are re uh, reloading our page as you can see here when i am clicking on this home page the same site is only getting reload so i also want the same thing i need the same home page should reload for me so now what i am going to do now here uh, click on this wordpress logo and go back to the wordpress dashboard now hover over this setting and uh, here you will find this reading setting so just click on this reading setting and from this reading setting you can uh, get this uh, your home page display so click on this a uh, static page and then here from a static page we have to select which page we want to make home page so here i will select this home as my i just want to set my home as a home page now i will click on save changes once you will click on this save changes 
now when you will go come here now when i will refresh this page or if i will refresh this page i will get going to get a blank page now let me refresh it and you will see that it will becomes blank in the same way here you can see that this class home is coming and here in this chrome tab also this home is coming so when i will refresh it uh, it will complete this class home will vanish let me refresh it and show it to you so uh, now you can see that it means uh, our website name is only coming over here it means we have already set our home page all right so now after this uh, home page now let's uh, move towards uh, the first section of our home page let's see what we have in the first section and let's start creating that so first of all uh, let's go back to the wordpress here dashboard and let's go to the pages section and from this pages option i just here you can see we are getting this home just click on this edit in the home and uh, here you will get this edit with elementor button so just click on it edit with elementor and it will load your elementor page builder now we need to click create our first section so let's see what we have in our first section moving forward to the first section uh, I, we just need to do some of the basic settings before that so that uh, we need uh, like we don't need to change every time our font size and all so for that what we have to do you have to click on this three lines and here you will get this site setting so just go to this site setting and here we have to uh, set some of this global color and all that we have used over here and we can reuse them every time we need so how we can do that one so here you will find this global color and you can set our different colors over here so here you can see that we have some of the system colors over here so i just want to change them like i want to give it a primary 100 and i want to give it a color to it so let me give it a color code of bbc 141f1 in the same way i just want to change this secondary one to primary 200 let me give it again primary and uh, give it a name primary 300 and for this one i just want to give it a color code of uh, all right i think it is getting okay uh, let me again uh, give it a color code of a2 a9 ec in the same way i just want to uh, instead of this text i just want to give it a name primary 3 400 or let me give it primary 500 and uh, for this one i would like to give it a color code of 8892 e7 in the same way i just want to give it another color code over here for instead of ascent i just want to make it primary 700 and uh, let me okay i have mistaken it let me give it primary 700 and i will give it a color code of 5d 6a de in the same way i need to import like i want to import a lot of color like this add color i just want so instead of uh, taking you a lot of time let me quickly import all the colors and fonts that i want to over here so i will just click on this like i will quickly add all this color to save a time and then we will connect back over here so now here you can see that to save your time i have import like uh, added all the colors over here what are the colors we need and uh, meanwhile here you can check uh, i will show you each of this color code over here what are the colors we have taken with the number and if you will not get over here then also you can select it from the uh, whenever we will start building the sections over here then i will show you which color code or which of these uh, colors option i have selected and what are the color code i have given as you can see that for with the name background i have given this color code fb fbff in the same way for transparent i have given make uh, a transparent color for info i have given this color 0 d c a f 0 in the same way for in warning i have given this yellowish color ffc 107 for here danger i have given this color code b c 2 d 3 b so i have given some of the name over here and i have uh, you can use them in the while we will proceed towards the tutorial of this video i will show you what are the color code we have given with the number then also from there also you can check the color code so this is for the convenience to save a lot of time because i have added this one to save a time where we will we have to like manually not uh, enter all the color codes so that's why i have set it some of this global colors in the same way you can set some of these global funds as you can see that for this uh, body i have select given this fa font family dm sans with font size 
16 pixel front weight i have given over here 400 and then line height to it i have given 1.5 bm in the same way for button font i have again given a font family of dm sans and font size of 13 pixel with font weight 700 and text transform here i have given it uppercase and uh, here line height i have given it 26 pixel with letter spacing of 0 0.6 in the same way for the subtitle i have again given a font family of dm sans and font weight i have given it 500 font size 18 transform for the subtitle i have selected it as capitalized then style for the subtitle here i have given it italic with line height of 1.5 bm moving here i have also given this uh, global system font over here with this block code in this block code again i have given a font family uh, dm sans font size 21 pixel font weight for it is 400 and uh, here you can see that line height i have given 1.5 m then these are some of these uh, for h1 h2 heading 1 heading 2 i have given and then for counter number all like what where i have used everything for like for counter if i have selected any of this quote over here or any of this uh, fund family so i have imported let me show you here you can see that we have some of this counter val number over here so i have given all this like funds uh, initially so that we don't need to import everything or we no don't need to again type over there so now uh, these are like here i have set that global fund then from the typography whatever i have given for heading one here you can see that i have uh, you i have selected some of these for h1 again i have selected this heading one in the same same way for h2 i have selected this heading two for h3 i have selected this heading three in the same way you can set us uh, the typography over here and here uh, you can see i have given all the heading the same color with this neutral uh, 502 b c 233 so this is the color code which i have given over here now moving to the next here you can see that we are getting a button setting over here so you can give your custom border radius or custom padding also as you can see that if you want to give any border width or border type over here you can give any border type to the button also now as you can see here for the button background color if you will notice uh, we have some of this button background color over here and i have given here a gradient background type over here with this color code of these two types a2 a9 over here you can see like this a2 a9 ec and this 8892 e7 so these are the color code with this uh, location and angle i have given to it with i have already given this typography to the button also now with this i have already set all this layout and here you can see that i have given a content width layout of 1302 pixel and uh, if you want to change any of the site identity that we have changed like site description and all you can again change it from here also then uh, i'm moving after the layout uh, here you can see we have a light box option if you want to change some of this from light light box and anything you can do easily do it over here so we have done the color setting or site setting over here so now let's move with the first section of our home page so first of all let's see what we have in the first section so let's go to our first section and here you can see that uh, we have a slider over here in our first section so now let's start creating our first section to it so so for that again what i'm going to do now uh, i will click on this plus icon and i'm going to take a single section with one column only so here you can see that we have got the single section with one column so uh, now let's start with the section setting first so here i will select this uh, nine three six dots over here and uh, here in this content width i just want to make this content width as full width and column gap as no gap then height for it i will set it as min height and i will uh, make sure you have selected this vh and uh, give it a 90 vh of min height to it then we have this column posi position let it be middle only vertical align default everything is fine over here now let's uh, move to the style tab over here and here you can choose any style if you want now in this advanced tab if you want to give any margin or padding you can easily able to give it over here 
so now uh, after this uh, here you can see that we have a slide over here so what i am going to do now i am going to use a slide widget so click on this uh, nine dot here you can see so click on here and uh, here what i am going to do now i will search for slides and here you will find this slides option just drag it to your column all right so we got a slide what i am going to do now let's start with the single slide over here so first of all let's see what we have over here so we have these uh, we have a image in this slide and then we have this text and a button also so now how we want to uh, create that one so first of all uh, here you can see that this is the slide one heading and uh, here we have this image option so we can choose a image from here so you you have to choose this image as you can see that i am going to provide you all the images also so you can easily able to upload those images over here so the only thing what uh, you have to do is oh, you have to only drag and drop over here all the images will get uploaded so now let me quickly uh, drag and drop all the images here and uh, here you can see that uh, all the 47 images are getting uploaded once these images will get uploaded then we can choose or select any of the images from here and we can use them so let's all the images get upload uh, then we can uh, we will choose one of this image from it so let me find like whether the image that i have chosen is already uploaded or not over here so i think it is not yet uploaded so let's search over here load more all right so what i can do is i can choose any uh, i think uh, that image that we are searching for let's see okay this is the image we can use any of the other images also like this so this is a conference one so uh, let's take this one only it uh, i will click on insert media so here you can see that i have added that image then what i'm going to do now i will give it a color instead of this color i want to give it this primary 900 color and then size will be cover it is fine then here you will find this ken burns effect it i don't need it background overlay yes i want a background overlay and i will uh, give it normal only then uh, here you can set a height so as we have given this entire container as a 90 vh of height for this one also i will give a 90 vh of height only then you are getting this slider option where you can set your navigation style as a like what are what navigation style you want to see as you can see that if you will slightly notice over here we are getting a dot over here if you will you can see a small dot so you can set the navigation as arrows or dots if you want to give it a small dot like this then you can set a auto play then pause on interaction infinite loop and then transition then transition speed also you can reduce your transition speed and then you can set a content animation as you can see when this one changing the content is coming from up so that's why i have set it as up you can set it from down so if you will set it as up it will come towards up now let's uh, go to the content part and here in this slide one heading only uh, first of all you will see we are getting a content option over here where we are getting a slide one heading then we are getting all this text and all so what i'm going to do now here you can see that uh, we are getting we invest in uh, we have a text over here like this let's check this one only engaging exhibits so what i'm going to do now let me quickly copy this engaging exhibits from here and i will uh, give it paste it in the first part after that uh, here if you will notice uh, what we have next international music concert so this one is very big in test so what i'm going to do now let me replace it with international uh, music concert here you can see that i have given it a h1 tag so that it will look bigger in the same only after that we have a paragraph so that's why here you can see i have given it a h1 then here you can easily give whatever paragraph you want to give and it will uh, come like this then here you can see that we have a button with this registration so instead of this click here i want to change it to registration all right after that uh, here you can see whatever link you want to give you can give it over here so i am giving it then here you can see apply link on whole slide or button only so you can apply a link to the whole slide or button only 
so next we have this style option and here you can customize like if you want to customize the style of it if you want to set the horizontal position center vertical position center then text align if you want so here if you will notice we have a text align this left so that's why i have set the text align of all this content or towards the left now uh, let's move to the style tab and let's customize it so first of all what i'm going to do now first content width i just want to make the content width to 70 percent then uh, make sure you have unlinked this padding and you have selected this percentage and give it a left 20 percentage of padding to it all right so let's see how it's going to get okay so i just want to uh, let me give it uh, like i don't want to give this and this is how it's going to look like all right so here you can control i just want to give it instead of this left i just want to give it a 20 percentage from right like this or uh, you can set it like 25 left and 25 right or let me give it 15 left and 15 percentage from right and let's see how it is going to get and here you can see that this is how it's going to look like all right after that uh, here we can uh, set we are in the style tab and here we can give it a, a color and also you can set the horizontal position and vertical position as center text align as left if you want and let me give it a uh, 20 to it and i will make it zero and uh, here in this column setting also let's make it uh, to this column setting let's make it zero and here in this style tab oh, i just want to increase the content width all right okay it is not working fine let me give it a 70 percentage of content width with this left side of 20 all right now let's uh, move to the title over here and here in this title you can find the spacing between this so i just want to give it a spacing of 16 then a uh, text color here again i just want to set the text color as primary 500 and typography for this one i want to give it as subtitle that we have already given it as italic and everything so that's why i have given it now when it comes for the description so as we have already given it uh, let me give it a description spacing as 40 and uh, here we have uh, we can choose this color as white color that we have already given it here so this one pure white we have and then here we can choose this let me choose this as caption so i have given one color over here like text this one caption and i have selected it as we have by default given this text to h1 so that's why this is looking like a h1 only all right then we have uh, this button option and from this button we can set it as size of the button let me give it a medium size then typography as i have already have one button typography we can set that border width i don't want any border width then uh, background type uh, here again i just want to give it a primary 500 of uh, background color to this button and on hover uh, let's see what we are getting on hover you can see we are getting this completely uh, transparent so on hover let's see what we have so let's make it completely transparent background color to it all right like this and when we are hovering over it we are getting this completely transparent color then uh, we don't need to set these as navigation because this is uh, this is the navigation is not getting visible so uh, like we can uh, like we can uh, skip this navigation part and we can move forward so now uh, let's go to this uh, section setting once and i just want to give set it as column position and all column position is middle and vertical align everything is fine over here so all right with this we have completed the first section of this home page so here you can see that we have completely created the first section now let's move toward the second section of it so let's see what we have in the second section as you can see that again in the second section we have uh, some of these uh, icon boxes you can call it to where we have this uh, what we call uh, when we are hovering over it we are getting these images and in each of these images as you can see uh, the image we have a heading 
and then one paragraph then we have one button over here and also we have another heading to it and when we are hovering over it this image is getting slide so uh, before that at the top also we have one heading and uh, one paragraph over here so let's uh, start creating this section so first of all uh, i just want to uh, take a single section with one column so what i'm going to do now in this again i will click on this plus icon and i'm going to take a single section with one column only now before moving further let's um, do the section setting column gap i just want to make it no gap then here in the advanced tab unlink it and i want to give it a 100 12 pixel top padding and 100 12 pixel of bottom padding to this section all right after that here you can see that this is the first heading we have so let's copy it and what i'm going to do now uh, before moving further i just want to take a inner section in it so let's take a inner section in this and uh, now let's do the inner section setting so i just want to take a inner section with one column only and in this inner section column gap i would like to make this column gap to wider column gap and then uh, here if you want to do any styling or advance you can do it i don't want to do now click on this nine dot and directly drag a heading over here now let me replace the title to it all right after this uh, let's make this alignment to center then let's move toward the style tab and here again primary 500 i will choose the color and then uh, the typography for this one i would like to give it subtitle okay i think uh, it is looking little bit different let's give it a primary 300 all right then we have this browse event by category another heading over here so click on this nine dot and drag it just after the heading that we have created and paste your uh, text over here after this uh, here again i want to give it a center align and if you will notice we have some more gap between these two heading so you can go to the first heading and here in the advanced tab you can give it a bottom margin to it so only give it a bottom bottom 16 pixel of margin uh, while uh, while unlinking this margin option now here we have this heading over here this browse event by category then we can go to this style tab and uh, you can choose but i think it is uh, like we don't need to set it as because everything is looking fine now after that here you can see we need to create this section so for that one again i am going to take a inner section only so here uh, let's uh, take a inner section over here so again i will drag another inner section to it let me take back this inner section uh, up all right so we need inner section with three column uh, let me add one more column over here so now we have a inner section with three column by using that we can easily able to create this section so now uh, what i am going to do now for this inner section setting column gap i just want to make the column gap as wider and uh, that's all for this inner section setting now let's uh, move towards this section so first of all in this first column again i just want to uh, take one more inner section in the first column so if you will notice you cannot uh, drag it here easily right so how you can uh, do that one so for me uh, for that let me give you one quick trick let's take another section in it and uh, let's drag one inner section inside it now just copy the main right click and copy it and just come to your inner section column and just paste it over here and you will get this uh, inside this one inner section uh, we have in the first column we are getting another inner section so this is the trick which you can easily able to use and you, you will get this so first of all let's start with this column setting only and uh, here uh, like we don't need to do anything with the column setting and uh, we can directly move towards the inner section setting so let's start with this click on this six dots in the inner section and uh, here uh, column gap again i just want to give it a wider and height i just want to give it a mean height or to this inner section of 350 pixel let uh, let me instead of 400 let's select it as 350 now let's move to the style tab and here you can see that we have a background image on it so here in this background i would like to select a image to it so let's select this image any of this image we can select it over here so uh, let's select any of the image from this i will okay i think we don't have that let's select this image and i will click on this insert media then position i would like to set it as center center then size of it i want to give it a size 
cover to this image all right then uh, on hover if you will see when we are hovering over it it is getting side so here again i can set this background type as uh, the same image that we have chosen so let's choose that same image where is that gone let me scroll down and find that image that we have chose recently okay this one click on insert media so we have now position i would like to make this position as custom so select it as custom and here you can set the um, let me give it a x position as minus 50 and y position is zero so when we are hovering over it as you can see that it is getting slide to live left now here you can set the transition duration when you will increase it let me increase it to 1.3 and now you will see it will move slowly here as like this all right now after that here uh, you can set the attachment and also size for this one also again will be cover and uh, there will be like attachment and everything will be default now let's move to the background overlay and let's see what uh, background overlay we want to add so first of all i want to give it a gradient type background overlay to it with this uh, let me give it a color of primary 100 and then the secondary color i just want to give it neutral okay uh, instead of this neutral let's give it neutral 900 so here you can see that the color for code for neutral 900 is 1e1f24 and then the color code for primary 100 is bbc1f1 now uh, here location 100 and angle is 180 fine after that here you can set the like whatever type if you want to give so everything is looking fine like this on hover you can see we are getting different color so for that here you will get this hover option again select this background type as gradient and now you can uh, choose any of the color for it so again i will give it a primary 300 and uh, for this second color secondary 700 will be fine now location for this one i want to give it location 38 and uh, for the second color location i want to give it 98 now on hover uh, i just want to go the change the transition duration to 1.3 or 1.2 will be also fine so now you can see we have got the same uh, designs over here now let's start with the of uh, what are the headings so we have over here so as you can see that like we have these uh, 50 events then we have a paragraph text over here and uh, we have one button to it so now let's uh, start adding all this so first of all click on this nine dot and uh, let's start with this heading so i have added first heading over here and let me copy this 50 events and i will replace the titles to it with 50 events now let's move to the style tab and here i just want to give it a text color of this pure white which is this fff six time f the color code and now typography here for this one again i just want to give it a h 5 s typography so i have added this 50 events then now let me copy this paragraph text also now what i am going to do now i will again click on this nine dot and i am going to drag this text editor and now let me replace the text here after that now let's move to the style tab and here in the style tab i just want to give again that uh, pure white color to it and uh, for this typography uh, we can give it this tiny typography that we have chosen over here okay so now we have added this paragraph then what we have we have this button over here so click on this nine dot and you can uh, search here in the widget section for button so let's search for the button visit and drag it just after the paragraph like this now you can see when we are hovering over it we are getting so everything is fine so we need to change the button text over here so let me give it a text to read more to the button then here whatever link you want to give you can give it over here now let's go to the style tab and here uh, i don't need to change the typography or anything the only thing which i want to change is the button color so here let me give it a primary this 300 okay this is the text color i don't want to change the text color i want to give it a background type so this one is primary 300 and primary 500 like this the gradient color i want to give to the button all right so here we have added the button also so now what we need to do let's go to this column setting and here vertical alignment i want to set it as bottom 
so that all of this text will come to the bottom part of it all right after that here you can see like we have uh, one more uh, title over here with this port so we need to add that one also so click on this nine dot and let's drag another heading here and uh, this text will be sport so let me give it a sport text to it now uh, let's move to the style and here text color again let's give it a pure white color to it and uh, in the typography as i have given one typography as label you can set it as like the font family is dm sans and font size is 16 so this one this is what we have uh, set it as uh, typography now let's go to this advanced and uh, here make sure you have selected this pixel and top i want to give it 8 pixel bottom also i want to give it 8 pixel and on right and left i want to give it 24 pixel right and also i want to give it 24 pixel towards the left and here you will get this position so make the position as absolute so here you can see we have already got the button over there so horizontal orient orientation will be left only and then vertical orientation top and we need to uh, change the offset of it so let's give it a 30 offset for this one now if you will see we have a background color to it so how we can add that one too so when you will scroll down to this you will find this background option so just select this background type as classic and give it a primary 700 uh, background color now one thing if you will notice it is coming like it is taking the entire layout so how we can do that so for that you will get this width so make it like inline auto and that's all so once you will click one column now what you can do you can duplicate it to three times and whatever text or anything you want to replace you can easily able to replace and uh, then what you can do you can right click on this inner section and you can easily able to duplicate the entire inner section over here again now once you will and duplicate this so now if you will see we have like 336 over here and uh, one more thing like if you will no notice over here this one is closer to this heading uh, as you can see this heading and this uh, first inner section is closer so we can go to this advanced tab of it and uh, we can unlink the margin and give it a minus 30 pixel of negative margin to this heading and these will come closer so now after that let's see what we have in the second section so we don't have anything in the second section so with this we have completed the second section of the home page so now let's move to the third section of our home page and let's see what we have in the third section so here you can see that in this third section again we have some uh, over here we have these like see all speakers and some speakers uh, images over here and here, here we have a countdown and on the right side we have some heading and then main heading and then we have some paragraph text and a button so now let's start creating this so for this section again i am going to take a single section with two column so click on this plus icon and let's take a single section with two column over here and before moving further i just want to do some of the section setting for this third section so here content width i want to make it full width then column gap i want to give it a wider gap and then height so let's select this height as a min height and make sure you have selected this vh and let's give it a 80 bh of min height then column position we have so let's uh, stretch the column position to it and then here we don't need any vertical alignment or anything now uh, let's go back to the style section of it and i just want to enable a background color as classic and i just want to give this light color background as you can see that we have a background color over here so that's why this is the background color but here you can see that this is the color code of it e2 e5 f7 is the color code now moving to the next uh, if you want to add some padding or anything you can add it over here so now let's start with the left side so first of all here i just want to click on this left side column setting and column width percentage i want to give it 45 percentage and then your vertical alignment i want to give it as a space between vertical alignment and horizontal alignment i want to make it as center for the horizontal alignment now let's move to the style tab and let's add this image so click on this background type classic and let's add the image that we want to add so let's see whether we have that image or not so here you can see that we have the image so i just want to add it over here and then click on insert media in it 
after that here you can set it like position so i just want to set the position as top center attachment would let it be default repeat i want to set it as no repeat and size let's give it a size of cover to it after that uh, here if you will see there is a background overlay on it so here you will get this background overlay option so just select this background overlay background type as classic and then here i just want to get this dark color uh, the color code here is 0f 0f12 and the opacity here i just want to instead of 0.5 i want to give it 0.6 of opacity so now you must be wondering like why it is not visible because we have not added anything that's why so now let's add a inner section on it and you can able to see the background overlay and all that we have added over here now after that let's see uh, here you can see that in this uh, inner section i have to add these like here heading and then i just want to add this countdown also so click on this i just want to take a inner section with one column only and uh, in that inner section uh, let's go to this inner section setting and i just want to set it as a minimum height so height i just want to give it minimum height and i want to give it a 200 pixel of minimum height to this inner section all right so now uh, click on this nine dot and here you will find this text editor drag it over here now let me copy this paragraph text from here and i just want to add it so let me replace the entire paragraph text here let me give it a backspace all right now let's move to the style tab and let's give it a color code and uh, the typography so here color code i just want to give it pure white color and typography is uh, let's give it a block code typography or uh, instead of this block code i can also give it this label typography label it also label is looking little bit smaller so let's uh, i think i have given it some caption i let's search for caption this is the what uh, this is the caption that i want to add all right after that uh, here you can see like we have added the paragraph and all now uh, it's time to add the countdown so click on this nine dots and here you can search for countdown visit and you will get this countdown visit just drag it after the paragraph text and here you can set whatever date or time you want to add so suppose let me completely change the years or everything so i think it will uh, very okay this is fine i think let me select any of the date over here and you can set whatever time you want to then you can uh, give it like whatever width or anything like view how what view you want to give it over here so first of all type here i just want to give it like a evergreen timer and this evergreen timer will be like uh, hours number of hours you want to set it as let me give it a, a 900 hours to it so it will automatically calculate the whatever time and date of it minutes and then view here it will be block and whatever like if you don't want to show the label you can hide it then action after expire if you want to like hide, hide redirect or show any message you can show it over here now let's move to the style tab and here first of all we have a container width so what i want to do i want to give it a 75 percentage of container width to it then uh, here i just want to give it a background transparent so i think we have already created one transparent so let me give it a background color as transparent all right so after that uh, here if you will see space between boxes i just want to increase them so let me give it a space between them as uh, 35 now uh, let's move to the content and uh, the only thing i just want to need is i just want to change it so first of all for the label as i have already the typography of label i have set it and i have already the typography of counter number so i will set the counter number that's all uh, we need to set and here you can see that uh, we have already set them as it is like how we need it all right then if you will see that the counter is in left aligned so but we don't have any alignment option how we can set that so we have to go to this advanced tab and here uh, what we need to do width just make it inline auto and here it will uh, automatically come to that left align then here if you will see we have less space between them uh, like uh, here paragraph and then this uh, countdown value we have very less space so we can give it uh, like uh, minus 20 or uh, minus 20 pixel and uh, for the from the paragraph also i just want to give some negative margin so that uh, they can come together so let me give it uh, minus 20 to the same now if you will check over here the paragraph and the countdown has come closer so with this we have done with it uh, now let's move towards the button 
so here you can see that we have a button over here and we need to uh, create this button over here so how we can create that one so this is not this is basically a uh, I uh, like video icon so or I can add it as an icon only so let's go back to our editor click on this nine dot and uh, search for the icon visit over here and let's drag it and after the inner section so here you can see I have added it the icon now what I'm going to do I will search for the play option so let me search over here play I can choose this icon and I will click on insert then view here again i just want if you want to give it a view as default then here you have you can check it like whatever view you want to give it to this uh, if you want like uh, any stack view or you can select a stack view as circle also from here and you can go to the style and you can change the primary and secondary color so first of all here i just want to give it a size of 24 and then for the primary one i just want to give it a pure like pure white color that we have already uh, given to it and for the secondary color i just want to give it like primary 300 will be fine like this okay let's uh, change the primary color to primary 300 and secondary color as uh, let me give it pure white and here you can see that it is coming like this and then here you can increase your padding between it suppose if you want to give a more number of padding then you can give it like this whatever padding you want so uh, suppose let me give it over here 30 padding is or uh, 25 padding is fine over here now uh, let's move to the advanced tab and uh, here in this advanced tab i just want to make the width of it to uh, inline auto like this then here position position let's set the position as absolute as you can see we want over here so what i'm going to do now i will uh, set this horizontal position and i will give it a and uh, like uh, i will remove the horizontal position and then here in this vertical position i will select this percentage and give it a 50 percentage of vertical position so that it will always be there in the center the video icon all right so we have got the video icon let let's see now next what we have so here you can see that again now we need to create these images over here so how we can create these images like this so first of all again let's take a inner section so i will click on this nine dot and i will drag a inner section here so all right i think inner section is not coming so here you can see like i have added a inner section so i need only a single inner section with one column only so now after this inner section first of all click on this nine dot and let's search for a image and what i'm going to do now i will uh, add this image so now let's uh, choose a image over here so i'm going to choose i think i have a image one over here yes i just want to click on insert media and the image is added all right after this image if you want to like give any caption or anything you can set it or if you want to give any link you can set a custom url link over here now let's move to the style tab and here i just want to give a width of 75 pixel to it and uh, max width and those things are not required now let's direct if you want like we have a like circle over here so i just want to give it a border radius of 50 let me select it percentage and i want to give it border radius of 50 percent and it will automatically become circle like this after that now let's go to this advanced and i want to give it a five pixel of padding to it and then here i just want to make the inline width auto and that's all after that uh, here if, if you will see like we have to add these type of how we can add that we can go to this background option and we can select this gradient option and we can uh, give it a color so let me give it like primary 300 and secondary as 500 to it let me select this secondary as 500 and here if you want you can give it any color now let's again go back to the border and here let's give it a 50 percentage of border to it and we can give it this type of gradient color like this all right so now once you have added this then how we can uh, make it like how we can change it so first of all what i'm going to do now i will duplicate it to as you can see that we have like three five number of images over here so one more thing like we have forgot to add it over here if you will see like when we are hovering over it uh, it is uh, we are getting some animation over here so how we can do that you on the style option only there is a hover option you can uh, select a grow 
and you can see now when we are hovering over it we are getting the grow now what i can do i can duplicate it as you can see we have like five number of uh, images so i can duplicate it for five times like this and then we can uh, select each of the image and uh, what i'm i just want to go to this advanced tab unlink the margin and towards the left i just want to give it minus 30 negative in the same way for uh, let me copy the style and i will paste the style to all these images and uh, our images part is completed after that uh, here you can see that we have a button over here so how we can add that button so just go to the widget option and just drag a button here after the images okay i think it is it should be like this all right okay i just want to take this image here yeah so we have the image when now you can let's see okay i just want to make the visit so here we you can see like we have to make this button as see all speakers so we have already created this button i will copy the button style and paste the style over here the only thing here i just need to change is see all speakers so let me change the st uh, text to see all speakers and uh, okay i you can see that now i have added it now let's see here you can see that we have an icon over here so you from this icon tab you can set the icon so let me uh, search for arrow icon and here you can find this uh, right icon arrow so i just want to use this one and then instead of before i just want to give it after and you can give it a icon spacing so let me give it a icon spacing of 8 now what I will do, I will go to this advanced tab and uh, here I just want to uh, give it width of, let me give it inline auto and let's see. So here you can see it is coming like this. So what I want to do now, I just want to go to this column setting vertical alignment. I will set it as middle and now here you can see that it is coming all to the right. So now if you see like I just want to give some of this uh, spacing between them. So how we can do that one. So just go to this advanced tab unlink the margin and give it a 24 pixel of left margin after this let's see how it's going to look like so this is how it's going to look like and with this uh, we have completed the left column now let's come to the right column and here let's see what what are the things that we have on the right column so here in this uh, right column you can see like again we have a title heading and some of this paragraph text and we have a button so uh, this will be uh, like it will be very much easy for us so let's quickly uh, do all this so as you can see like when you will scroll down we have already this heading right so we can easily copy all these things from here so i will right click and copy this part and here i will right click and paste it in the same way after this event category let me copy the heading also and right click and pay okay instead of paste style i just want to paste it okay so let's go to advance let's remove that let's take the help of a navigator and let's see what are the things okay for this advance again i just want to make it zero all right so now uh, here you can see like we have got these two headings over here so now you can easily able to copy this text from here and or uh, you can go to the content part and here in the title section you can replace the text Similarly for this one also I can go to this uh, content part and from the title I can replace it now the alignment also we need to change so let's set them as left align okay so we have set it now here it's come for the paragraph text so let's copy this paragraph from here and I can uh, do this paragraph in two ways I, I can take this uh, text editor and you can uh, like uh, paste it over here the paragraph and here like you, you will find this column just make it two columns like this and your two columns paragraph will be completely ready and uh, you can also take the help of inner section and you can do the same thing over here now after that here you can see we have a button over here so let's take the same button and i will uh, right click and paste it after this and i will uh, remove all these things and uh, here we are done uh, so one more thing i just want to add uh, some top margin so let me add a top margin of 24 and that's all so here you can see on the right side we are getting so now we need to set this uh, right side column setting so what i'm going to do now so let's uh, go up and select this right column and here uh, this uh, vertical alignment let's set the vertical alignment to middle 
now let's directly go to the advance and here i just want to add a 60 pixel of padding to all the side instead of a right in the right i just want to give it a 30 pixel of padding now if you will see this is how it's going to look like let's check the uh, check our one so this is the, okay the everything is fine over here the only thing is i uh, just uh, like i don't want this paragraph this paragraph is taking so much like uh, it is taking so much space so what i can do over here i can give it uh, from the from the right side i can give it some of the margin to it and i can increase the paragraph uh, length let me give it a 50 pixel of margin to this paragraph and uh, here you can see this is how it's going to look like and uh, i just want to give it a 20 pixel of top margin to it okay why it is coming like this okay i just want to give it 20 pixel okay it, it will not work so let's let me try with the padding one let's see how it's going to look like okay we can take the inner section also or you can take make it like a column like this also it won't be any problem give it a 25 percentage let's see how it's going to look like so here you can see we have got the paragraph if you want some space between them you can easily able to like go to this heading and uh, make it a default one the default one is the good one in the same way for this one also instead of zero make it default or give some bottom like let me give it 10 pixel bottom and uh, 10 pixel top margin to it and with this we have completed the third section of our home page now let's move to the fourth section and let's see what we have in the fourth section so here in the fourth section you can uh, see that this is nothing but our team section and here in this fourth section again we have like some of these uh, what we call uh, team members images over here so for this what I am going to do now again I am going to take a single section over here with two column to create it so let's go back to our elementor page builder click on this plus icon and let's take a single section with two columns over here or we can take a single section with one column and I can take the help of an inner section inside it so now click on this nine dot and first make the content with the full width and column gap as no gap for this one and uh, after this section over here uh, I just want to let's see what like here you can see we have some some different background color over here so we can uh, go to this style option background type we can set this as a little bit white type white is background only so here you can see after that uh, what we can do is i just want to add a inner section so click on this nine dot and just drag a inner section over here now in this inner section what i need to do i just need to add these two headings that we have already created so right click and copy it over here and paste it in the same way right click the this heading and uh, paste it here under it now just only we need to replace the title and we are done with the uh, this our team heading part let me copy this one also and i will paste it instead of this title all right so after that one more thing if you will notice i just want to go to this advanced tab of this unlink the margin and here i just want to give it a bottom 15 pixel of margin to it in the same way for uh, uh, this we have already done now on the right side if you will see we have a button over here with this all team text so how we can create that one so for that one we have already created one button right over here just copy and paste that button over here and in this button what i need to do first of all i will go to this column setting here in this column setting i will set the vertical alignment to bottom so that the button will come to the bottom now uh, after this uh, here in this bottom button I just want to remove this width I will make it full width and from the content I will align it to the right all right here you can see that the button is aligned to the right after that here like you can change the text see all speakers to all team and uh, then uh, here you can go to this advanced tab and from the advanced tab first of all the text color uh, here I just want to give it this primary 500 and background color I don't want I just want to give it a transparent background color as you can see I have given it okay, given it a transparent background color but why it doesn't work let me again uh, from this uh, okay I just want to set 
this one also transparent all right so here you can see i have given it a transparent background color and it works now uh, with this uh, this button is almost ready and we are done let's see uh, like we are done with this section like where we have like our team and all now let's take another section and in that section we are going to create this our team and all uh, that we have over here so in this here you can see that like we have some of these team members over here so what i'm going to do now i will i'm going to take a like a single section with here one two three four five number of team members and uh, i just want to take a single section with five and there i'm going to uh like with the help of this uh, i'm going to take this uh create this team member section so for that uh, i just want to take a single section with five columns so click on this plus icon and let's take a single section with uh, here you can see we have a five number of columns so i'm just uh, taking a single section with five number of column now what i'm going to do uh, let's take a inner section in the first column all right inner section with one column now first of all i just want to do some section setting over here so let's make the content width to full width column gap again i just want to give it no gap column and uh, here overflow also i want to hidden the overflow after that uh, let's directly uh, take go to this inner section part and now in this inner section part uh, what i want to do is uh, here uh, in this inner section i just want to make the column gap as no gap and i want to give a minimum height to it i think 400 min height is uh, fine now let's move to the style tab and here i just want to set the background type as classic and let me select a image team member image i just want to set select it over here so let's select this team member image and i will click on insert after that here in this team member you can set a custom position over here and what i want to do like i just want to uh, let me make it minus 90 to it and then y position i just uh, i think y position would be zero is fine all right so i uh, you must be wondering now right why this uh, Im like this is not visible so let me copy this and paste it over here now let's go to this inner section okay now we have this uh, uh, width so first of all size of the image again i just want to make a custom size and here i just want to select this percentage and i want to give it 190 percentage of size all right like this and then here uh, we just like custom size and everything is fine position okay this position is fine let's make it zero and then now let's move to the hover part and here on the hover part also i just want to select the same background image over here like this one and let's see how it's going to look like over here so it is coming fine right so now on hover part uh, as you can see the, when the screen is becoming slow it is not looking good but it will look good in on hover again i just want to give it a custom position and here for this one also i want to give it minus 90 and y position will be zero after that here for this one width uh, size i just want to select it as custom and uh, for this time i just want to give it 175 percent now let's see how it's going to look like as you can see when we are hovering over it the image is going little bit back so like this we can control it over here uh, like instead of one i just want to give it 180 let's see how it's going to look like okay it is fine for this 180 okay after that uh, here what i want to do is uh, transition duration over here so i just want to give it 1.5 transition duration and then uh, uh, if you will see we have uh, like created this one so now after this uh, we need to get all these like heading and all so how we can do that one as you can see we have this lead speaker text over here so let me instead of our team i will change it to lead speaker then we have this name over here so what i can do i can take another click on this nine dot and take a heading after this lead speaker and i can replace the name and then uh, let's move to the style tab and here i can give it a text color as pure white and then uh, i can select the typography as heading 4 all right so we have got the heading also now if you will notice when we are hovering over it we are getting the paragraph text so how we can do that one so 
for that again like here we can click on this nine dots over here and whenever you will click on this nine dots you will okay uh, let's see okay so now in this nine dots uh, widget section i want to search for call to action just drag this call to action after the heading and uh, here in this call to action i just want to skin type i just want to make the skin type as cover i don't need want to add any image so that's why i have removed the image then i can go to this content part and here in the content part whatever text you are getting like all this text you can copy it and you can uh, give it over here like this okay in the title part i want to give it in the description part what i what will be there so here in this uh, description part if you will see like we are getting these uh, links like i just want to give all these links over here so how i can do that one so for that i just want to take the help of a tag and uh, here i just want like fb then i will close this a tag over here and then i will give a dot mark and then okay, let me copy it okay and here i just want to give a href a href is like if you want to give your facebook link you can give it over here in this href where i have given this hash mark you can give your link to it now let me copy it and uh, i would like to paste it for three time let's see how we are getting it so here you can see we are getting it fine now i don't want to add any button so i will remove the button text from here and i also don't want to add any ribbon so let's the remove the ribbon also remove ribbon is not there now height i just want to take make it like 350 pixel of height to this text then uh, here you can see like alignment vertical position alignment i want to give it left align padding i want to give it 30 pixel of padding already you must be wondering like the text is becoming very big right so i just want to uh, quickly resolve all this so here the typography for this one i would like to have give it a body and then description also i would like to have this heading 4 let me where is heading 4 so i have given this heading 4 and then i just want to increase some spacing between this description and then the title all right then we have this hover effect right hover animation we are getting so i just want to change this hover animation to slide i think we have this uh, slide in down so here you can see uh, we are when we are hovering over it we are getting a slide in hover so i just want to like i have added a slide in then background hover animation you can set it like zoom in so i just want to set it move down all right animation duration you can set and then we are getting uh, one more uh, like what we call uh, here you can see we have like two option background color on hover and all like whatever hover or anything if you want to add so here you can see when we are hovering over it we are getting it all right so i just want to make the background also transparent so here i would like to make it completely transparent all right so our background is also become transparent now what i want to do i would like to go to this column setting so here in the column setting i just want to make the vertical alignment as top all right that's fine now let's directly move to the advanced tab and i just want to add a 30 pixel of padding to this entire part all right let's see how it's going to look like okay when we are hovering over it it is coming like this okay everything is fine but i think i need to change some of these things to this call to action so for this one again i just want to go to this advanced and i just want to add a minus 30 pixel of margin to it so that it will okay it is looking fine now uh, let's move to this uh, style tab only and uh, here in this style tab i just want to uh, make reduce the size of it little bit all right so let's see in the bigger picture how it's going to look like okay it is looking fine over here here you can see it is looking good now i just want like when i am hovering hovering over it uh, so i just i am getting a uh, one type of gradient color so i just want to add that gradient color to it so how i can add that gradient color so i can add this uh, hover animation to this inner section only uh, let's go to this background overlay 
and first of all i just want to give it a transparent let me first select this transparent gradient color over here and for this one also i will select this dark color let me select this dark color okay here you can see i have given it an opacity for this one i just want instead of 0 0.5 0 0.77 will be fine for you now on the hover i just want to again select the gradient option for the background and this time I just want to give some of the color as primary 500 and primary 500, secondary 500 to this. Alright, here you can see when we are hovering over it, we are getting it. And then uh, here you can like transition duration, you can set it. I want to set the transition duration as 1. And if you want to do some of the CSS filter, you can do. But it doesn't require I think now uh, what i can do i can uh, duplicate this inner section and uh, this time i will duplicate this column for three four five times all right now let's delete the blank columns that we have created like this and now okay what have i have done over here in each column I, I think uh, let's see okay mistakenly i have done something wrong okay we have like five number of columns over here let me delete all this let me undo my changes over here i want to delete this column and we have this okay i just want to duplicate this and in one column uh, we have two inner sections right using the help of navigator uh, here if you will see in each okay let's see what how many columns we have we have one two three these are empty columns over here and in this column only we have all this content two three so this column i just want to duplicate this column all right again i just want to duplicate and I want to uh, remove all these things because I don't want to see and again I just want to duplicate this column to one more time so here you can see like we have five columns over here and uh, we have five images when we are hovering over it we are getting the design but one thing we have messed it out like for this inner section style and background overlay on hover again i just want to set it as primary 500 and the secondary one will be 500 like this i just want to copy it and uh, right click and paste style on all the inner sections so that uh, it won't be any problem over here let me paste the style on all the inner section like this you can do it and with this uh, we have completed uh, this section of the home page let me paste style over here and uh, this one also and for this one and we are done with this section let's see how it's going to look like and this is the fourth section of our home page and here you can see this is how it's going to look like now let's move to the next section that is the fifth section and this is the carousel of testimonial so now let's start creating this fifth section over here so for this fifth section again i am going to take a single section over here so let's take a single section on it and uh, i just want to take a single section with one column so for that click on this plus icon and let's take a single section with one column over uh, here so uh, now uh, in this let's do some of the column setting so here i want to uh, make it like column gap let's make it no gap and then i just want to directly go to this advanced tab and uh, i just want to add a 112 pixel of top padding and 112 pixel of bottom padding to it all right now here you can see that like we have some this testimonial and what our members are saying we have already created this one so i can copy this inner section from here and i can paste the inner section over here in this uh, here you can see that like what our members are saying i can copy this title and i can replace this title over here and what i want to do I don't need this button and I would like to increase this one so that it would come in a single line or I can uh, select this column width and I can change the column width to 35% so that it would 
come properly over here so we have got like uh, here instead of our team it this one would be our testimonials so let me copy it from here and i will uh, replace it like testimonials all right so we have added this now after that here we need to uh, create this carousel of testimonials so how we can create that so for that uh, let's again take another inner section so i want to take another inner section with only a single column over here and i just want to uh, go to like if you want to add some of this inner section setting uh, here in this inner section setting i just want to only make the column gap as wider all right after that we need to make this testimonial carousel so click on this nine dot and in the widget section whenever you will search for testimonial you will get this testimonial carousel widgets just drag it over here and our testimonial carousel is coming like this so here you can see we have three testimonials over here so skin i just want to make the skin as bubble and uh, then here you can see layout in this image i would like to make the image as left and then alignment is center fine slides per view i just want to make it three so the three will like three in this way it would come and then uh, slide to scroll everything should be default and then uh, additional setting here in this additional setting if you want to like if you don't want any arrow you can remove the arrow then if you don't want to show the dots you can remove the dots then a transition duration then auto play speed pause on hover you can set up all these things now uh, let's create a slides of testimonial so what i'm going to do now i just want to take another once on only and let me add a image over here i would select this image so i have added the image uh, we have the name and then we have these uh, what we called over here this title over here everything is fine i just would like to duplicate it for three times like this now let's go to the style tab and customize it like this all right how we can do that one so first of all in the style tab we have a space between them so i will make the space between them as 40 okay let's make it 48 okay we have made the space between them as 48 then here in background color i would like to give it the light background color to it like this as you can see we have got this background color after that here you can uh, like you can if you want to give any border size or anything you can or i just want to unlink this padding also and i want to give it a bottom 30 pixel of padding and a left 30 pixel of padding to it all right now let's move to the content part and here in this content part i just want to make a gap of 12 to it and then here you can change the typography first of all so let's change the typography to the body of it then for name i just want to uh, make it heading 6 so let's make it heading 6 for this typography and then here i just want to give it neutral uh, 700 would be fine or a neutral 500 i just want to give it in the same way for the title i just want to give it primary 300 and the color here i just want to give it is uh, let's see the typography i just want to give it tiny typography all right now let's move to the image part that is the most important part and i just want to make the image as 140 as you can see the image is very much big over here that's why i have made the image is 140 size i want to give it 16 border radius make it border radius 0 so that the image will come like a square now let's see how we are getting this carousel over here so this carousel is fine over here now uh, now we just need to set up bubble uh, change the bubble so i just want to change this padding to 30 and just unlink it and remove this left padding and here the background color you can either give it the light color that we have given to this entire or you can uh, set it as transparent and that would be also work so as you can see i have changed this bubble also let's see how it's going to look like and here it is so here you can see that with this we have created this uh, testimonial section of this section uh, like we have done with this testimonial section of this so now let's move to the next section so before moving to the next section i just want to check one more thing over here like uh, let's go to the inner sections of these both two and let's see uh, whether we have missed something in these inner sections so here in this inner section setting it is 
column gap i just want to give it this okay column gap as wider would be fine over here now both one both of them should like look like aligned okay now one more thing is left over here in these column settings i just want to make all them zero let's see let's undo the changes okay i think i have uh, made lot of changes to it okay let's uh, remove this padding that we have added same thing over here let's uh, remove the padding over here also and uh, here i just want to again go to this bubble and uh, let's give it a 30 pixel and just unlink it and make the left side as zero and i just also want to decrease the right side also let's make it right side 20 and background color again i would like to set the background color as light and let's see there it is so with this we have uh, created this testimonial section also now uh, let's move to the next section and let's see what we have in the next section so here in the next section after the testimonial you can see like we have a background image over here and then uh, we have some text and a button over here so this section is very much easy and we can easily able to create this one so let's take a single section again with a one column and here i just want to do some of this section settings so i just want to make the content width as full width column gap as no gap then height let's give it a minimum height and i want to give it a 500 pixel of minimum height to it then uh, column position would be middle fine now let's move to the style tab and now from the style tab i just want to give this background type as classic and let me select the image as you can see we have an image over here so i need to add an image so let's see whether we have that image or not yeah we have that image so let's click on this insert media and we have added the image now position over here i just want to make it center center and size over here i just want to uh, give it a size of cover to it like this all right so we have added the size and everything now it comes for the uh, what we call this inner section so that we can add all this uh, text and everything over this now for this inner section so uh, click on this nine dots and drag a inner section over here i just need a inner section with only a single column so let me delete this one now what I am going to do is or I can uh, take the help of this inner section also that we have already over here and I can uh, paste it here the inner section and uh, let me remove this uh, extra okay I have removed it entire let me remove this extra column from here now what I can do I can make all of these like center align for this one also I can make the center align I can change the text color to completely like pure white for this one also I can go to the style tab and change the text color as pure white but I think it is not looking proper because we have not added the background overlay so let's again go to the section setting here we have this background overlay option so let's uh, select this background type as classic and let me give it this dark color to it all right now you can see our text are visible properly so let me copy this entire text over here in the content part i will paste it like this and uh, here you can like set this as uh, advanced make the width as uh, like inline or you can set the custom width and uh, give it a 650 pixel of width and uh, i just want to make the vertical alignment okay i don't need to make it vertical alignment but here in this main uh, inner section setting i just want to set the vertical alignment to center let's go to this inner section setting and vertical alignment i want to make it middle okay it should work let's go to this content part and why it is not working over here uh, before moving that let's go to this okay let's go to this column setting and here horizontal i just want to give it center and now you can see it is coming in the center then we have this button so we can also grab this button from here let's copy this button and just after the heading paste the button make the button as default alignment let's set the alignment to center and all right and if you want you can remove this margin also if it is not required 
I just think uh, 20 pixel of top margin is required over here. And with this, we are uh, done with this section. Now let's move to the next section. So uh, this is the seventh section of this and uh, here you can see that again we have some of this like this texts over here and when we are hovering over it we have some logos over here we are uh, the logos are getting colorful and on the right side again we have some of the text with these two buttons over here. So let's start creating this section so again for this section I am going to take a single section with one column only. So for that, let's take a single section of in our Elementor page builder. Click on this plus icon and let's take a single section with one column only. Now again, uh, here I just want to uh, make it a uh, column gap as no gap. Then here in this advanced tab, I just want to add 112 pixel top and 112 pixel bottom padding. And as you can see, like we have the background color of it. so dark color so go to the style tab background type as classic and select the color as this dark color the black color that we need all right so from here i can copy this uh, inner section and i can right click and paste it over here the inner section from that section uh, that we have uh, used and we can reuse like here you can see our partner we exist because of you i can replace it like this uh, instead of this whatever mentor is saying we exist before of you because of you and change the text color to this uh, pure white color and our this section is almost done all right now next again i just want another inner section with two columns so click on this nine dot and let's drag another inner section with two column all right now we have this inner section with two column over here now what i need to do uh, let's first uh, make it make the let's first go to this left column and uh, here uh, what i want like uh, here if you will see we have some of the logos so click on this nine dot and search here for image visit and let's drag the vi image visit over here now i think let's guess we have some logos or not so here we have some of this logo so i'm going to take only a single logo and we can reuse that same logo over there all right so here you can see we have got the logo let's move to the style and here what i want to do i just want to set some of this css filter to it like uh, here brightness would be 100 let's make the contrast to zero so that it will become black and white and uh, on hover let's uh, here you can see on hover again we don't need to do anything like uh, no brightness or anything or you can if you want you can increase the brightness to 155 and that would be better transition duration let's make it uh, 3 or uh, let's make it 1 also that would be also fine like this all right so we have set it now let's directly go to this advanced tab and uh, here for this i just logo i just want to give it a bottom margin of 40 pixel and uh, width inline auto or i can set the custom width and let's give it a 30 percent of width to it that's all now let's start duplicating it as you can see how many logos over here we have three logos let's duplicate it three more times one two three now you can see like we have three three six three nine number of logos and all the logos are having the same like design and let's see it how it's going to look like over here all right when we are hovering over the logos uh, everything is uh, like it is looking fine when we are hovering over the logos but one more thing is uh, like i think it is missing i just need to have increased this column width so how we can do that let's go to this column setting over here and let's increase the column width percentage to 65 now you can see like the logos are looking little bit bigger but i just want to have some space between them also so vertical alignment uh, let's make some space between them horizontal alignments also space between them so that uh, there will be proper space and here you can see now whenever which logo i am hovering over it uh, it is getting colorful so with this we have done with this left column now let's come to the right side so here let's see what we have on the right side as you can see we have some of this text over here so let's start adding these text so first of all again click on this nine dot and let's first drag a heading over here 
i just want to change that heading to do you have an event so let me replace the title to this do you have an event then let's move to the style tab and here i just want to change the text color to this uh, pure white color and uh, this typography again i just want to give the typography of this caption that's fine so we have this heading over here now again i just want to have this paragraph text so again click on this nine dots and from the widget section just drag this text editor now let me replace the text over now uh, here i have replaced the paragraph text now let's directly move to the style tab and uh, give it some of the color so first of all the text color i want to give it all uh, i think primary 300 would look fine and uh, typography we can set it as body and by default also it is taking this body only next we have these two buttons and uh, as per i know i think we have already created these two buttons let's copy this button and i will paste it over here again let's copy this button and i will paste it all right after that uh, the only thing that we have to do is uh, here you can see after this button go to this advance make the width to inline auto and uh, in the same way i just in, i will remove this top and i will give it a 20 pixel towards right in the same way for this button let's go remove it from left and uh, let's go to this alignment let's set it right aligned in line width in line auto and that's all as you can see both of the buttons have come in a single line and you just only need to change the whatever the text you want so for the sake of time i'm not changing it you can easily able to change and with this we have uh, completed but wait we have not completed yet we need to customize this right side column also so click on this column setting and let's uh, make some of this vertical alignment to middle so that all this text come to the middle and i also want to add some of this uh, like space if you will see over here i think we need to add some of this padding to this column right so here i just want to go to this or i can go to this inner section setting and make the column gaps to wider so that it would like don't need any spacing or anything let's check all right everything is fine over here okay let's change the in this intersection column gap to wider only okay that's all with this we have completed this section now let's uh, go to this uh, next section and let's see what we have in the next section so for this uh, let's go back here and let's check all right so here you can see that in the next section again we have this uh, like when we are hovering over it we have these sections over here when we are hovering on it we are like getting all these uh, call like these are already the call to action buttons over here and uh, for this one again i am going to take a single section i think for single section it will work for here let's take a single section with three columns like this so first of all let's again go back to our uh, elementor page builder and here again i will click on this plus icon and i am going to take a single section with three columns now let's give it a con uh, content width uh, i just want to give it full width and then here uh, in this uh, style tab let's give it some of this color i just want to give this background color all right uh, then let's move towards the first column and let's see what we have in the first column we have this image so click on this nine dot and search here for call to action just drag it over here on the left side all right now uh, let's make the skin as cover now let's choose the image let's see whether we have that image or not so we can search over here i think we should have that image this one all right click on insert and we have that image no problem let's uh, you can see we don't have any content we have only a button over here so in the content i will remove the title remove the description and uh, we have a button over here so when we are hovering over it the button is coming okay so let's make it see more this button text all right ribbon and all those things not required let's directly move to the side height for this one again i just want to give it a 375 pixel of height to it vertical position bottom it's okay 
alignment left align as you can see the, everything is text is all left align so we have set it all right now let's go to the button part and here background color uh, i just want to give it this primary 500 background color to it border width let's make it zero because i don't need any border width on hover let's see on hover what we are getting the background color is changing right on hover i just want to make it primary 900 like this okay everything is fine hover effects so let's go to this hover effects and uh, here hover animation i just want to give it slide in down like this okay and then uh, here you can hover animation zoom in and everything is fine all right let's see how it's going to look like so there it is here you can see like we have got this one and now how if you want to create this how we can do that one that would be like uh, no problem so we can take a help of click on this nine dot just drag a inner section under this and here in this inner section just make the column gap as no gap and uh, you are good to go and uh, what only thing is i just want to go to this advance and gear, take a top 10 pixel of margin from it now copy this and paste it on the right co uh, left column paste it on the right column and uh, here if you will see let's check some of this like whether it is uh, we are getting some problem or anything let's see uh, what we have got is fine or not okay we have got we need to change the width of it let's go to the style tab and here i just want to change it to 165 pixel same for this one 165 okay and uh, i think it's good to go and one more thing is we have some of the spacing between them right so go to this column and uh, just take it unlink it and uh, give it uh, towards right give it a 5 pixel and for the right column uh, go to advance and give it a 5 pixel from left all right now let's uh, duplicate it for three times or it would be okay one time would be fine and uh, i will copy and paste it over here the only thing is you need to only play with all these heights and nothing else so on the right side go to the style uh, instead of 375 i want to give it 550 as you have remember 375 and these are 165 so 375 and 165 you can uh, like calculate and uh, you can uh, give it like it's coming five like 540 and 10 pixel of margin so that's why i have given it 550 in that way you can calculate and as you can see uh, for this like this type of section i can go over here and i can reduce its size instead of 375 to 250 so i have reduced over here 125 so here i can add more 125 instead of 165 i can add this to uh, 165 plus 125 i can do or uh, 165 plus 125 i think it will become around 290 and that would be fine in the same way you can change it to 290 and you are done with this section the only thing is you need to only just calculate over here and you can easily able to create this entire section without any problem so let's go to the section setting and here column gap i just want to make it no gap like this or uh, okay i think i have made some of this instead of this no gap i just want to go to this each column and here i just want to add some of this padding so that uh, 10 pixel of padding towards the right only five in the same way for the middle one i just want to go to this advanced tab and again here i just want to give it a 10 pixel of padding and from right and left i just want to give a right side padding five and left side padding five now in the same way for this one again i just want to go to this padding 10 pixel and unlink it and give it a left side 5 so with this we have done with this section now let's move to the next section and let's see what we have in the next section so here here you can see that this is what we have to create in the next section here we have like uh, some of these images and on the left side we have these text over here 
so now let's start creating and this is the last section of our home page so now let's start creating this section so first for this again i'm going to click on this plus icon and i'm going to take a single section over here and the column gap let's give it a wider gap height i just want to give it a mean height of uh, okay i have not selected mean height of 400 pixel is fine over here column position is middle okay no problem let's go to this advanced tab and as you can see there is a lot of gap so that is due to 225 pixel of top padding to this section all right now uh, let's take the help of inner section and let's start creating this one so click on this nine dot and just drag the inner section over here in this now i just want to go to this inner section setting here and uh, make it like column gap let's again for this one also let's make it wider let's go to the style option over here and uh, if you want like i just want to give it a background color of this light okay and then uh, here if you want to add any border as you can see we have some of this border radius over here so i just want to go to this border and unlink it and top 24 and on right also i want to add a 24 pixel of border radius all right now uh, let's add on the left side as you can see like we have some of these uh, headings over here so what we can do is we can right click copy right click paste it in the same way for uh, this black color heading right click copy and after it right click and just paste it so we have uh, copy pasted so let's me again copy this entire heading and i will you can replace the title all right so now after that what we need to do is we need to create this download on apple store and download on play store so how we can create that one all right it won't be any a big problem so for that again we need to take a inner section okay why i'm unable to take this inner section over here all right it is not coming let's take the help of a navigator and let's bring that inner section under the column like this inside an inner section okay inside a column we have an inner section and we need one more inner section and we were unable to okay it's not a problem as i have already told you i know the trick click on it take a section drag a inner section over here copy the main column from it and just paste it now uh, just replace it okay i think i need one more let's copy it and paste it again okay i need to paste it over here again okay now let's delete it i will tell you why i have done that one let's take the heading and let's take this heading and let's delete this blank column all right now okay i need to delete this i have a inner section and then inside that also i have another inner section that's what i need okay so first of all let's take, go to this first inner section setting here i just want to make it no gap and uh, everything is fine over here on uh, here if you will see i just need to add this logo and this what we call this text over here so that's why here i have taken another inner section so first of all click on this nine dot and search here for image and you can easily drag this image over here let's select that apple logo i think we have uploaded that one yeah so we have uploaded the apple logo now let's move to the style tab and here i just want to give it a 65 percentage of width and uh, with if you want to add some of this css filter or anything you can add but it won't require all right after that uh, after this uh, image of 65 percent what we need to do is let's on the right side we need to add some of this text like download on so uh, these are like headings so let's uh, click on this nine dot and let's drag the heading over here and uh, i would like to add this as download on okay let's go to that section this one okay first title would be download on okay it is download on download on and let's move to the style tab and here i just want to give it a color primary 300 and typography as tiny 
all right so download on is uh, completed then we have this another heading app store let's again duplicate that and uh, at this time let's replace the title then let's move to the style tab and here i just want to change the typography to caption let's search for caption instead of this tiny i would like to have caption and primary 500 to it all right so we have added it uh, now let's move go to the inner section setting of it so now in this inner section setting i just want to add some of this uh, first of all what i want to do is i just want to go to this column setting of this inner section and i need to like add some of this like border and also let's add a one width of border to it okay i have uh, to take the help of navigator over here so let me uh, make it none let's help take the help of inner section and uh, in this inner section we have created another inner section right this is the main inner section and this is the column setting of this inner section right here i just want to go to the style tab and here back border type i just want to make the border type as solid border width i just want to give it one width of border with this primary 100 color let's give it primary 100 color and i just want to give it a border radius of 16 pixel that would be uh, like it would look fine and on hover i just want to give it again a uh, background hover classic let's select this primary 100 when we are hovering over it and transition i want to make it one okay it will look fine and uh, here in this advanced tab i just want to first add a uh, eight pixel of padding from all the side and from right and left i want to give it 16 pixel and 16 pixel and for this one i just want to add a oh, 30 pixel from right so that it, there will be gap between them and let me duplicate it so that and uh, let me delete it and in this column setting what okay i just let me delete this one i guess okay now i can delete now let me go to this column setting and here instead of right margin i just want to add a left 30 margin and uh, here you can see like we have this apple button and download on app store and download on play store but uh, i just want like something is missing over here that is the padding over this so let's go to add some padding to it i just want to go to this left column and i would like to add a 90 pixel of padding and just uh, remove the right side to 60 pixel all right now uh, like here if you will see uh, we need to adjust these images also by like this image is not looking perfect so i can go to this layout and give it a 35 percentage all right similarly for this one also this column i would like to give it 35 percentage and now we have like proper button you can change it like download on app store to download on play store it's completely depends on you how you want to like uh, give it and we need to have, have some spacing between them so for that we can go to this what we call uh, the heading setting and here instead of 10 bottom we can add 50 pixel of bottom and that would be perfectly fine all right so now let's uh, move to the right side and on right side if you will notice over here we have nothing but we have two images over here and uh, we need to only add those images over here and nothing so for that uh, let's uh, start with this so first of all uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to first uh, set a spacer so let me close this section all right and uh, let's go to this first of all here i just want to make it let's go and click on this nine dot and here search for spacer visit once you will search for the spacer visit just drag it on the right side and uh, now we can control it 
so first of all for the first page uh, what i need to do is first uh, let's give it a con in weight so here i just want to give it 600 pixel okay let's go to this advance and here you will find a background option now let's select a background image so first of all for that one uh, here let's see which image we need to select we can select this one and click on insert media so we have selected this image now let's set up the position and all position i want to give it top center okay and then a size i want to give it a cover size and uh, repeat i want to make it no repeat and then here now let's go to this layout part and uh, here in this layout i just want to give it minus 80 let me give it minus 80 pixel of margin and here width i just want to set the custom width of 812 pixel all right so this is how it's going to look like now let's take another spacer from here so i just want to search for another spacer and just drag it under this only let's take the help of a navigator and i just want to take the spacer top now we have this another spacer and i just want to give it 400 pixel spacing to it or let's uh, increase it to 460 pixel that would be fine okay we have added this 460 pixel then uh, here let's go to this advanced and uh, i just want to give it right minus 200 margin and uh, top minus 460 towards the left i just want to give it 200 margin now for this one also width i just want to make it like custom width of pixel 362 and we have not set the image all, uh, also so let's uh, set the image for this one go to this background now let's select this background images classic and let's set the image uh, this one all right so we have set this image and uh, here what i need to do is i would like to set this as a position let's set the position as top center and then a repeat i would like to make it no repeat size i would give it as cover cover size will be a uh, look more better and uh, for this one also let's see how it's going to look like this is how it's going to look like and with this we have completed this section of the home page so now let's uh, move to the other pages with this we have completed this home page of this uh, service 35 and as i have already told you that i am going to provide you all this uh, templates of about partner schedule pricing and contact page so using those template it is not going to take much time to import and use them so let's start quickly create all the other pages of this now let me show you how quickly you can create the other pages like the about page and partners page schedule page and pricing and contact page so here next page is our about page and i'm going to show you how you can quickly create this page so first of all again let's go back to our uh, element of dashboard so here what i'm going to do now let me quickly go to my wordpress dashboard and uh, here in this dashboard i'm going to create a page over here with the name about and then i will show you how quickly you can import a template like the template that i am going to provide you and you can easily create this page so here you can see let me go back to my dashboard again now from the dashboard i am going to again the pages section and here i am going to create a new page so in a new tab i have opened it let me close all the other tab and here what i am going to do now i will give it a page title of about and once you will type it about let's again select this uh, template as elementor canvas and publish the page once you will publish the page if you will see the page it will completely blank now let's click on this edit with elementor and it will load your elementor page builder now you have to click on this folder icon and you will go to this my template so here currently you can see we don't have any template so we have to upload the template so here you will uh, find this upload of icon over here arrow mark just click on it and here it will get this import template option 
so you will get all these images along with a template folder link where you will find a link in the description where you will get all these templates so you have to upload this template as you can see like let's enable the import and it will uh, import it once this file will be import then what we have to do as you can see that it is getting import we are getting this loading message it means our uh, template file is getting imported once our um, uh, template file will get import then we will use that template file and you will find that within a few minutes we will get the entire design of this page as you can see that we have this design over here and you will get the exact design so let's wait till this import complete and once it will complete then i will show you how to use that so here you will find like uh, about service 35 is imported just click on the insert button and once you will click on this insert button here you can see like it is again getting loaded and it will uh, bring the entire change as you can see that the same over here like we have home about breadcrumb over here then you will get the page title over here and then here you can see if you will compare with the demo site we have this icon section over here you can see the same whatever content you want to change as you can see we are getting the page title with the animation also suppose if you want to change this icon you can easily click on this and you can easily able to change all these icons over here in the same way whatever content as you can if you want to change this title also you can easily able to change it now let's click on this update option and let's go back to our other pages so again i will go back to my pages and here i will create a new page so next we have this partners page so let's import the partner page so again i will give the page title as partners and uh, here the template elementor canvas and i will publish the page now let's uh, load the elementor page builder again we need to upload this partners template as you can see over here we have this partners template also click on this folder icon then upload icon and then here we have to upload this partner so suppose here uploaded this partners template and it will get uh, imported so what i am going to do now let me quickly import all the pages template over here like we have this schedule pricing contact and i am also providing you this header and footer as you can see here we have contact header footer then pricing and schedule all the pages templates over here so let me quickly import all this template and then i will uh, show you how to use them so here as we have already seen like how we have used over here in this about let's refresh the page and let's see whether we are getting the exact design or not so here you can see this about is coming in the same way uh, here you can see that the partners uh, page template is already imported i have to just click on this insert button and it will get imported successfully and as you can see now here the entire page is getting imported so in the same way let me quickly upload all the other templates then we will get back so here you can see that i have imported everything now let's click on this update and let's go back to the pages and let's create other pages also so we have uh, till now we have created about and partners so let's schedule uh, let's create the schedule page pricing page and contact page so here i will give it a name schedule and then uh, here okay schedule let me release it so here template again elementor canvas and let's publish it now let's load the elementor page builder in the same way i'm going to uh, create this pricing page so in the page title i'm going to give it like pricing then uh, template over here elementor canvas and let me publish now in the same way let's create another page which is contact page so here in the title i'm going to give it a contact and then template make it elementor canvas and publish it all right so here you can see that like we have uh, created now let's load the elementor page builder for contact elementor page builder for pricing and here you can see like the for schedule page it is already loaded so go to this folder icon go to my template and here you can easily you will find this schedule template just click on insert and within a few minutes it will get imported successfully in the same way we have to go to this pricing click on this folder icon my template and then let's uh, click on this insert button and it will get imported uh, now let's import the contact also go to my template and here you will find this contact let me search over here contact click on this insert and it will get imported as you can see this is the schedule or schedule over here and here you can like whatever you can you want to do 
over here you can do it like if you want to change any schedule from here you can change it and uh, one more benefit is i am going to provide you the mobile view option if you will go to this responsive mode and check the mobile view and here you can see it is coming exactly the same without anything like here if you will see we have uh, we are getting this hide options right this this is whenever you will go to this advanced and here in the responsive section you can see this is hide on desktop and hide on tab tablet so this these are for mobile view and i am providing you exactly in the same template where you can easily able to do it so in the same way here you can see that this is the pricing page and it is also getting get imported successfully so let's update this one also and this is the contact page and it has imported the contact form also that we have built so here on the left hand side you can like where to get the email of who has filled this contact form where you will get with this what subject and what are the filled messages you want everything you have like you will get all the setup over here you have to only change like from email and all these things and to email and uh, you will uh, get ready with this contact form also so as you can see that like we have imported everything like all the pages are done now if i will refresh this page and you will find like all our pages are completed over here we have created all the pages now let's move towards the header part and here in this header part as you can see that we have a menu option over here so we need to first create the menu so let's hover over this appearance and you will find this menus so let's go to the menus and from the menus uh, we have to create the menu first so here you can see we don't have any menu so what i'm going to do now i'm going to create a menu with this main menu name then i will click on this create menu once you will click on this create menu uh, go to this view all and select all the pages because as you can see that we have all the pages in the menu then click on add to menu now as you can see uh, whenever you will go to this uh, here we have you can rearrange all the menus like we have contact at the last then we have pricing then schedule after home about so you can rearrange it by simply drag and drop then you can click on this save menu to save the menu as you can see our menu is saved now let's go to this hover over this template and you will find this theme builder so go to this theme builder and we are going to create the header so i have clicked on this header and as you can see we have already this header also so click on this edit with elementor in the header and uh, here you can see like our header is imported over here with the menu that we have recently created then here you can set like display condition and here you can add the condition as entire site and just click on save now let's check whether our header is visible over here or not so here you can see like it is not getting visible so why it is not getting visible uh, we can do that one let's check it okay we have made it elementor canvas so let's make it first elementor full width and let's view it whether it is visible or not so here you can see now once i have made it elementor this full width it is coming over here so what does this elementor canvas do it's completely provides you entirely blank page so what you have to do again go to this edit page and instead of elementor canvas you can choose this element of full width and update your pages and uh, now once you will like if you will go to this view option here you can see we have got this and now we can change all these pages and all and we can easily able to change from the elementor canvas to our element of full width from the template section then we can see our header also in the same case we can also see the uh, footer also like here partner page and everything is coming over here now uh, let's go to the footer and uh, here in footer again i will click on this edit with elementor and uh, here in this edit with elementor you will find like uh, we will get this entire footer over here if you want to change this form over here with this email form again you are getting the same form you can easily able to customize from here then as you can see we are getting the exactly same footer that we have here in our demo site now what we have to do just click on this arrow mark after the update and go to this display condition now add the condition entire site and again include archives or include you can make it singular all singular save and close now let's see let's go to the contact page and let's see whether our footer is coming okay it is not coming because it is not full width so click on this now make change from elementor canvas to elementor template and update your page 
now once you will view the page you will find like we are getting the header we are getting the photo everything is coming over here so with this we have completed the entire site if you will notice uh, whenever we will go to this other pages like about page and if i will go to this inspect and check the mobile view and you will find that it is entirely mobile responsive also so with this we have successfully completed this website thank you so much for watching this video till now if you really enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to like this if you want to get these type of videos don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of a new video